One of my favorite exercises to go through for loading of a single side hip when we have a deficiency of sliding from one side to another side with squatting and loading is the kickstand deadlift or from this case we're doing it from a block. Uh, you could call this a single leg RDL as well because of the position that we're in. Either way, people in my office, we call it kickstand to make it easy because we're building a kickstand. Now, um, I'm going to go all through all the steps of this and I'm going to pick it up a little bit quicker. Um, first thing is that start from a block. This is about four to four, five, six inches here, mainly because a lot of people can't get down into the position either due to weakness or they just uh, haven't been down there for a while to load this single hip and that's fine. We can build a range of motion as we, as we go and we're just going to do these really slow to build some strength. Now the first thing to consider with a kickstand, or actually a deadlift in general of any variation, is that the weight should be just over this part of your foot, or I like to say the inner part of the arch. Every time I pick this weight up here, this weight is not going to move from the line that we started at, and it's going to go down in the exact same spot where I started from. If there's a sticker right here on this block, I would put it directly down on the sticker every single time. That's really important. Now, you might wonder where should we put it out in relationship to the foot? Here, 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 here? Well, it's based upon the goal. So I'm not going to specify that directly, but whatever I tell you to do in the office, then that's what we're going to end up doing. Just make sure to put it down the exact same spot. The next thing I like to look from here is that we set our kickstand. I'll show you the width and the other angle. But when we push the hip pockets back, you need to make sure the posture is nice and flat right here. Um, rounding, in this case, when we're doing loading, is really not good to do. I don't suggest it um, ever, really, but crawling around and doing other things, like flexion's not inherently bad, it's just bad when loading. So, the steps here, line the weight up, set your kickstand width about here, drive the pads of the toes through the floor right here. We don't want to load it too much, but we shouldn't be up on the toe, and that's a common problem for people, and they tend to shift weight over to this side, I'll show you in the other view as well. Okay, weight in, straight down, Push the hips, hip pockets back. Crush a walnut in your hand to set tension. Deep breath like you're sipping air. <sighs> Stand tall. Notice that the handle or the, the, the horn of the bell is now on my thigh. And I'm going pu to push it straight down, push hip pockets back as I go down for about five seconds. In the exact same spot it started. Deep breath. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now, from the other view, there's a couple considerations as well, and actually <laughs> I felt myself do it poorly on that one, that last one. You could probably wind it and see. I got this sissy knee thing going on here, okay? So when you set your kickstand, also imagine you got a band here. Break the band a little bit. You don't want to tear it apart, but imagine it's a really heavy band. You want to set your, set your knees and hip up, hips up for success. Now, when I talked about... Um, uh, loading onto this foot over here, notice that if I pick the weight up and I start to load onto that foot, how far the weight changed this way, this way, and this way. And to put it straight down again, now all of a sudden it's coming back here. All right, this kickstand, just like a bike, it's not meant to bear a lot of weight. It takes about like, what, 5%, not a lot. So bury that toe in right there. Don't move it from where it's at. Keep the heel up. Notice that breaking band thing, how my heel changes too. I like to have the heel up, break the band, Crush the walnut, deep breath, deep breath, <sighs> sipping soup, stand tall, note it hit my thigh again, and this entire leg, this entire knee has finished. If I drop back onto this other one, it's going to bend. So it's one of the common faults we see is people tend to have the knee bent, and you wonder why the heck is that's happening? It's because they're shifting weight away. So deep breath, <sighs> crush the walnut, one, two, three, four, Five, and pause one more time. Let's break the band on this one. One, two, three, four, five, and pause. So as we start to build strength with this movement, you can add a little bit more depth or range of motion and weight, obviously. Going slower speeds is really helpful for building strength. Um, I like to keep reps under, under five if I can. Uh, if this video has been helpful to you and you are watching on YouTube, there's going to be suggested videos on the side. There's also probably a suggested article or podcast too. Please look at those because you're here for a reason, right? You want to check these things out. 
And lastly, if you like this, please thumbs up and share with a friend who has the same shift of hips.